we're going to start with the fire. Uh, Chief Mon, are you around? Uh, yes, I am. Sorry, I had a, a little problem logging on, but I'm here. All right. Um, so Somebody yeah. needs to mute. If there's like, if you're not talking, if you can mute, it will get rid of the background noise. Thank you, Counselor. Yeah. Can you guys hear me okay or no? Yes, we can hear you. Thank okay. You. Um, so the one item that um, is on the uh, agenda for the next council meeting is legislation for our fire department to receive funds from the New York State Department of Health. Um, these funds are restricted uh, to be used only for um, our emergency medical services training, which we uh, respond to all types of medical calls and we need to train our firefighters. So um, we are able to receive $70,000 in funds from New York State in order to use to uh, continually train our firefighters. Um, are there any questions or? Okay, is it, is it, is it, yes, it's compatible in terms of it, when you guys respond, right? Um, so in order, and is it, is it purely for, for, um, this is for, um, so we have a pretty, um, specific uh, program that we need to follow according to New York State um, Department of Health guidelines. Um, this, um, these funds are used for, um, to buy equipment, um, to help teach skills, um, to buy educational audio and video equipment. Um, if we need new software, um, it pays for administrative costs, um, supplies to actually do the training. So all this stuff goes into um, um, the training that we need to provide our firefighters so they have the ability legally to respond and render care um, to somebody that's having a medical emergency. Counselor? Hello? Yes, where are you, Chief? Counselor, uh, good question? to me. All right. Uh, anyone else? I'm okay, too, Counselor. All right. Well, thank you. I missed thank uh, you, uh, Council, Council Major. Was, was there any local match involved, Chief? I missed that. Um, can you repeat the question? Um, I didn't hear it all the way. Can you um, repeat the question, Councilor Driscoll? Is there any local match involved for us? Um, um, nope. Um, um, this money is on. Um, there's no local match. It's just um, money provided to us by New York State to make sure we maintain our training program for our firefighters. Um, and so if there's a lot of different um, processes that go into our training. Um, we have a continual medical um, program um, that is actually um, the state is allowing us to do this continuous training. So if we didn't do this program, we would have to take our firefighters out of service. They would have to um, obtain training um, pretty much on overtime. So this is a continuous training program and the state gives us money to assist us in making sure our firefighters are trained. This, this is, I, I right. think this is Chief, is, is this yeah. the only thing? Um, yes, every year. I think, oh, oh. Chief, I, th I think you are. Great. We can't hear you very well. Yeah, Chief. Chief Bonds is frozen, but yes, Councilor, that's yep. his only item for the for the for the June eighth agenda. That's his only item. Okay, so this is this is every year. This this happens. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm sorry. The uh, my connection is going in and out. Um, did anybody else have any questions? I'm sorry. I I asked. This is every year, right? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, sir, Counselor. This is every year. We receive this these funds every year, and we come um, right around this time to accept uh, the money um, and get permission from the council to accept the money. Okay. Uh, Council Driscoll, did you have any more, or are you all set? All set. Thank you, Counselor. Okay. <clears throat> All right. If nothing else, uh, Chief Chief Martin, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Counselor. Sorry for the bad connection. All right. Okay. 
All right, let's move on to the, and that's it for the fire, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, that's it. Okay. okay. Uh, Chief Cecil, are you around? Yes, I'm here, Counselor. All right, let's, let's get going with that. Part, part of what we're going to talk today about today is the uh, is the interfaith uh, interfaith uh, item. So run run them through the two the two agendas. Just once one th uh, the other one is done, just let the other one follow. Sure. So we we amended the uh, legislation so that they it went from the thirty thousand dollars that they requested, which would have been for ten dialogues. Uh, we amended that to twelve thousand dollars, which because they completed four dialogues, so they completed 40% of the work. 40% of the $30,000 is $12,000, so they would be getting paid for only the work that they completed. Yeah, and this this item we beat it up pretty much, uh, pretty good the last time around. So if if anyone, I, I personally have no questions. If any of the counselors have questions, by all means, go ahead, please comments or anything like that. I don't have any questions, but I understood that the the chief was going to come before the whole com Is that in the information session to say that we're going to ask permission when need be moving forward in a timely before we spend the money? Is there something uh, to that effect attached to this coming when we talk on Monday? I, I believe he has. Yeah, I believe the chief's going to come before you. And okay. talk to you about it. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. I, I'm all good with me. Okay. Any anyone else? All right. Thank you, Chief. Uh, go on. Sure, Counselor. Is, it, I, is the what's the other item? Is it the Saul and Quinn? Yeah. Item, yes. Yes. Okay. So the Saul and Quinn is the one. Uh, that's an in-kind donation of twenty thousand dollars for services photography services. We had we amended that so that we enlarged the scope. Originally we put it in front of the council and may and we had in there that it was going to just be for recruitment purposes. It's still twenty thousand dollars. It's still in kind services. We're not putting any money out, but now the scope of it's going to be re uh, recruitment, retention and, and marketing, meaning to, to create a brand for the Syracuse Police Department. So that's simply it. It was amending it simply to enlarge the scope of what he'd be doing. Okay, counselors. That's fine with me. He does great work. He makes you guys look great. He makes everybody look great, but he does a great job. True. Yeah. So, Chief, this right. would be like a video to show kids in high school and stuff to get them excited about joining SPD. Yeah, absolutely. It would be both video, uh, still photographs. He puts together like. Uh, Councilor Red mentioned he puts together he takes countless pictures and videos and then he throws them all together and really it really has a great product but exactly it would be for the recruitment part of it would be for that just for that so people could see this as a uh, an avenue for for you know an occupation down the road to get them excited about it now do you take this to PSLA and stuff like that is that, is that how you get the uh, the uh, the demographic or the other way. My guess, sure, Councilor. My guess is it's going to go all over social media. Obviously, we're going to use social media to do it, but we have a really good contact right now with PSLA. In fact, one of our lieutenants went there to head up the program So when he retired. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to certainly be working with them to try to get uh, many of those students to get excited about becoming police officers. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe you, you might have a better way of... Uh, of making it more feasible, but I recommended that that you know it that it be connected to the parks, you know, you know all those youths that use the parks and you know when when they are during their lunch time and breaks and you know show that to them as well. Okay, it's a good idea, Chief. Uh, along the, those lines, is there like a you deal with like guidance counselors at the city school district or maybe athletic directors as far as recruitment goes maybe for them to like you know pick out kids that they think might be would consider the police department as a career have you ever made outreach with the school district regarding that 
Yeah, we do, Counselor. And you know how we most often do it is with the SROs. We have two SROs in each of the high schools, as you know. So a lot of times they make connections with students or teachers come up and make connections with the SROs and, and do exactly what you said. Um, say, this person I think would be great. He or she's been talking about becoming a police officer. Um, I think you should talk to her and encourage her or him to do it. So, yeah, that's happening all the time, uh, again, through usually through the SROs. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any further questions, Carlos? Well, Chief, I think that's it for you, right? It is, yes. All right. That uh, if all the councils are okay with it, we are going to move everything forward. Are we good? Yes, I'm okay with it. Good. Yep, okay with everything. All right. Yep. All right. Well, thank you very much, councils. Thank you, Chief. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.